Hey, what's going on? This is Minister Gold. This is a mix-up tutorial on the Twitch ad events that were recently added. Um, now, if you're doing pre-rolls, this doesn't matter for you because no matter what point in time a user comes into your stream, they will see ads. Uh, if that means whether they've refreshed your page after one hour or five minutes, they will start seeing ads again. And in the case of mid-rolls, you can make it so that after the first minute ads are played, after 30 minutes that ads are played, and so on. Um, and they will see a minimum of three minutes of ads in order to not see ads again for that hour. Then after an hour has passed, um, after the same amount of minutes has passed for, this, for the next hour, they'll see ads again. And those who have come in the middle of the stream, if ads have already passed, they will not see them. Once the next hour comes and they pass that time in the hour when ads play, then they'll see ads. Um, basically, the main event you're going to want to use is the upcoming event because that will let viewers know, hey, in five minutes, ads are about to start playing. So that way they have warning, be less of a surprise, and hopefully they'll be less annoyed. So we can look at the other events. I can show you how to get an understanding of how those work, but um, I think you'll get the most benefit from talking about the upcoming ads event. Uh, in any case, um, if you find this video helpful, please give it a like. And if these mix-up tutorials are helpful to you, please subscribe. Um, and if you'd like to talk with me about um, mix-it-up stuff, um, gaming, life, whatever, follow me on twitch.tv slash ministergold. Okay. So click on the top left for the menu. We'll go to events. We'll be in uh, Twitch. And here are the three events. Twitch channel ad started, Twitch channel ad ended, and oh yeah, Twitch ad upcoming. So we'll look at upcoming. Okay, and now this upcoming at the beginning oh you know what let me copy this uh, and put it in notepad so you can see what it says okay so this is what is in my um twitch channel ad upcoming i made a chat message that says this okay so the reason why i put upcoming is because um i was using all three events and i wanted to know when each event triggers so i just put a keyword there for myself so i know what it does uh, okay, so I say uh, the next wave of ads is happening in dollar sign ad next minutes minutes, and so what happens when this event triggers is it says in five minutes the next wave of ads will happen. It will last ad next duration. In my case, is 180 seconds. Uh, the ad next duration is how many seconds the ads will be. Uh, I just say Twitch makes you run them. I'm sorry about that, but thanks for sticking around. So something simple like that. Now, as far as how did I know to use these variables, it's pretty simple, or these special identifiers. So we'll go to uh, Google. Actually, we'll just type in um, mix it up wiki. Uh, let's see. We'll type in event. Event. Okay, event commands. Uh, we'll type in uh, started. Okay, Twitch on started, upcoming. Okay, yeah, so these, these special identifiers only work for the section that you see them in. So I can't use these in another event. I already tried that and it doesn't work. Uh, basically, I'm just using these two. Um... So next one is to say how many minutes the next ad will play in, and ad duration to say how many seconds of ads they'll be watching. So apparently for this one, it tells you uh, the duration of the current ad. Now what I don't know is, like, let's say they have six ads to watch. Is it telling you where they are in that process? Like they're on the fifth ad, and that ad has 30 seconds. Is that what they're telling you? I don't know. I haven't, I don't think I've actually used it properly. Um... No, you know what? I didn't because all I put was ad playing. I didn't actually put this. But in theory, you could use this and then you could they, that could tell you where they are in the ad process. But again, 
take it for a grain of salt because I haven't actually used that yet. Okay, and as far as Twitch channel ad ended, I've seen that work only um, like after all the ads have concluded. Um, that's how I've seen it work. And so I just have it say, um, like ads have ended basically. So I know that they're not watching ads anymore. And if you want, you could have a sound alert for this if you want to be notified. Um, but yeah, I think the main thing is just doing the um, upcoming ad, um, like chat message, so that they know in how many minutes the next message will be. And for me, what I'll probably end up doing is I'll probably make a, um, a timer widget. So it counts down and lets people know, hey, in five minutes, ads are going to play and they see the the counter going down if they see that going down they'll know exactly when ads are about to play so it, there will be no surprise in that um so that's what i'm planning on doing and yeah that is pretty much it if you have any questions uh let me know if this was helpful please uh leave a like for this video and subscribe for more videos like these and yeah, come by and chat with me and my and my my friends on Twitch. Um, and that's it. All right, thanks. Take it easy. Bye.